Hey guys, we are back with another Abershire gaming video, and in today's video we are going to be comparing PUBG and Fortnite. These are two similar games, but also very different, and we're going to be looking at their similarities and differences in this video. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So starting off, if you didn't know, both of these games are Battle Royale type games, which means that... Um, a certain amount of people which in this case for both PUBG and Fortnite is 100 people spawn into a designated map fight for loot and try to survive to the end that's the core of both of the games and that's where they are really um, the most similar but each game takes a very different approach on the battle royale um, type of game Another similarity is that um, you all jump out of like a plane slash bus in the beginning and then you all skydive down to different locations on the map and collect loot in the beginning. Try to get enough loot like a gun and armor, which armor is not really in uh, uh, Fortnite, but you try to collect materials and then go out and fight that is another similarity that's really in all battle royales but um yeah, that's a pretty basic similarity one big core difference between Fortnite and PUBG is um, the map size in Fortnite what makes it feel one reason why it feels so like kind of casual is the map size it is a much smaller map in Fortnite than in PUBG which means you don't have to do as much like thinking about actually where you have to go it's kinda just move when you want to as you don't have to go too far but um the when you have to move it's more often than in PUBG and PUBG you have more time in between um, when you have to move and when you can kinda do whatever you want and also in PUBG you have vehicles which allows you to move a lot more quickly but this gives the two games a very different feel in the just speed of the overall game in Fortnite people get killed a lot faster as the map is a lot smaller everything's more condensed and um, just kills happen a lot faster which makes the games a lot shorter which I would say um, my average game in Fortnite where I don't just die immediately is probably I would say 20 minutes maybe maybe even shorter but when you like go to the end like top 10 maybe 25 minutes that's how long it takes in Fortnite but in PUBG it can take upwards of 45 minutes to an hour to um, actually win it's pretty crazy how long it takes but it gives it that more competitive and um, just different feel than Fortnite. Another big difference in the looting of both of the games is in Fortnite there's a lot less things that you need to actually be able to do well in the end game. You really, in Fortnite, you just need a rifle, maybe a sniper, which is not that hard to get once you've killed a few people, and um, bullets, which are very easy to get, and bandages. Whereas in PUBG, you need to get energy drinks, armor, the backpack, weapons, ammo. Um, yeah, it's a lot harder to actually loot and takes a lot longer to loot in PUBG than it does in Fortnite, which extends the game. And it makes it a lot more competitive as you need to have these um, things to actually be viable in the end game. Whereas in Fortnite, you really don't need much to win anyone can really win even with just a shotgun or a pistol you can win but you probably will have like a rifle I would say which because it's very easy to get but um yeah that's the looting differences that's the whole beginning of the game covered for both games now we're gonna be taking a look at kind of the middle portion of the game so for Fortnite in kind of the middle before the end game you have a little bit of running you have to do in order to stay in the circle but honestly there's barely any running you have to do 
There are gunfights constantly as the map is so small. You will run into people left and right, whereas in PUBG, in order to actually make it to the circle, unless you get very lucky, you will need a vehicle. This allows you to traverse the terrain very quickly, and even in this vehicle, a lot of times you do not run into people. You can go a long time without seeing someone in PUBG, which extends the um, gameplay even more as less people die. As the map is so much bigger, and there are so many more things you can hide in. So that's kind of the middle game covered. Now we're going to be looking at the main portion, which is the end game of both. So in the end game, this is where Fortnite and PUBG really differ. In Fortnite, unlike most battle royale games, you can actually build, which is a pretty unique feature and allows for a much different playstyle and a much different feel. It makes the game feel a lot more kind of casual, relaxed as you can get behind cover very, very easily and heal up very easily. So the game doesn't rely as heavily on aiming. Um, really, the only time it relies super heavily on aiming is when you are using like a scoped gun, like the sniper or like a scoped AR. But um, yeah, normal gunfights, it's a lot less kind of stressed on perfect aim as PUBG. PUBG is a lot more, there's a lot more downtime and uh, aiming is really, really necessary in order to win. You have to be spot on and um, yeah, just on point with your aiming. Overall, this makes Fortnite feel like a much more casual game where you can mess up, you can recover, and um, you're always kind of constantly in a gunfight for most of the time. And whereas in PUBG, it's a lot more, there's a lot more downtime, a lot more strategy goes into it. Um, you have to be prepared at all times, you have to have the right loot, and you really have to be on point with your aiming or else you will be wrecked. So yeah, overall I would say Fortnite is a casual game for those casual players who just want to have a good time. And uh, PUBG is for people who want to, want to spend a lot of time with the game, developing strategies, figuring out ways to play better, aim better, things like that. This makes PUBG a game that when you play with your friends you really focus and kind of develop a strategy and try to win, go kind of like try hard. Whereas in Fortnite, it's a lot less tryhard of a game. You kind of just mess around with your friends. You can make it into kind of a PUBG where you you can really go tryhard. There are some people, like streamers and stuff, that are super good at the game. They've developed their skill where they can just basically wreck everyone who's taking the casual approach. Um, yeah, they kind of take a PUBG approach to a casual-ish um, Battlegrounds game, which allows them to wreck and do well. Um, you can do either strategy in both. You can also be casual in PUBG, but m in my opinion, it's pretty boring to go casual in PUBG. I feel like the only way to have fun is to go try hard, unless you just go try to do flips, which is pretty sick and is one thing I love about PUBG. There are no vehicles in Fortnite, which kind of sucks. But also, really, vehicles are pointless as the map is super small and it's not necessary. The circles normally, um, within walking distance, you can get there pretty quick. But um, yeah, that's kind of the main differences of the game. I would recommend those of you considering it to give um, Fortnite a try as it is free. Anyone can play it. It uh, is for the Xbox and the um, PC. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's for the PS4 as well, but I don't have one, so I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'd recommend giving it a try. If you like the kind of casual style, then I would stick with Fortnite. And if you kind of want it to be more competitive, you feel like it's too casual, then I would recommend giving Battlegrounds a try. Because Battlegrounds uh, cost money, so yeah, it's a little bit more of a commitment when you get it.
but it's not too expensive. So they're both very, very fun games um, for two very different play styles, but um, yeah, I feel like they're different yet very similar. But if you guys found this video useful, want to see more comparison videos, then make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next Abershire Gaming video.